Well, we are recording with the new camera and with separate audio tracks. So hopefully this is going to work and I'm not going to come out like talking with my lips moving at one point in the early part of the video and then completely off in the later part of the video. I, I really, because this is, this is one of the, the hells of trying to record with separate audio tracks and so forth. This is why I haven't done it before now. Um, cause in the, in the past, occasionally it's happened that that has messed things up. Well, welcome everyone. Welcome to a new year, 2016. And we have a, a whole new year of, of, of mail call videos to make and, and cracking the box and turning the page. And, and we're just, I'm just dying to get going. As you can see, I put out so many videos in 2016 so far. Yes, this is the first one technically. And this is the first one with a new camera. So hopefully you can tell the difference. Uh, we're GoProing with the, the new session at, at its new pricing point. It's only two, they marked it down to $200. So it's still a $200 camera though, which is a lot more expensive than the previous $100 or so webcam. Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's wish, hope for the best. We'll hope for the best. Okay. So as you can see, I got a few boxes in. We got a big box from Dragon. We got uh, something from a company. I have no idea who this is. And I got something from Amazon, which I'll share with you at the end. So, you know, if you, if you really, really, really want to see everything I get in the mail. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, hope everybody had a good 2016 New Year's and, and a good uh, holiday season. And we'll, I guess we'll just push on, shall we? Let's see what's in this little box. Um, it is from, oh, it's from IBG. More stuff from IBG. Wow. They're really being, they're favoring us with many products. Recently, we got their, their new uh, 72nd scale. Yeah, the 72nd scale toldies and stuff. But uh, let's see what this one is. Something new from them, obviously. IBG is in Poland. So I wish I could knew how to say hello in Poland. Oh, oh, in Pol hello in Poland. Hello in Polish. Uh, I know that their country name is not actually Poland. It's um, something like... Polandia, but it's not Polandia either. I only know this from watching a chick flick movie. You know, might know the one I'm talking about. All right, some more 72nd scale Toldy kits. Now, they didn't send us the same kits, right? These are the different ones? Oh yes, these are different. Uh, this is the Toldy 3 Hungarian light tank in 172nd scale. And the Toldy 2A Hungarian light tank. So they're going all out with the, the 72nd scale. I wonder if they're gonna make 35th scale versions of these because they have made Lots of 35th scale kits in the past, but uh, we shall we shall see, I guess. All right, uh, moving on. We've got the Dragon Big Box. Let me find a place to actually kind of set this up. One in which I don't destroy my microphone connection and so forth. All right. I'm gonna do something a little different uh, this week. We're gonna put up um, I guess I'll use like a straw poll. So I don't know if anybody used straw poll in the past, but it's basically just a website that does quick polling. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I'm gonna put all the Dragon 35th scale armor kits probably in the poll. You tell me which one you wanna see uh, a cracking the box on. So we'll see how many, how many responses we can get out of the thousands of people who watch this video. We'll see how many 10, 20, 30 of you, don't know why that is, uh, uh, actually elect to, to do the poll because it takes about five seconds, basically, other than making making your mind up, but, you know, literally click on the link, bring up the web page, and click to see which one. So, because, you know, I feel bad. I, I've done so many, I've gotten so many dragon kits lately, and I just haven't done that many uh, cracking the boxes on them. There are going to be a lot of dragon kits in here, actually. Uh, looks like, oddly enough. Um, so we're going to have our selection of the Panzer Offs D V2, which looks like an early panther, I'm guessing. V2. I'm not sure what the V2 was. But somebody in the comment section will probably tell me, which is good. Um, and then we have a Tiger 1 Tunisian initial. Um, Panzer Battalion 501st and Panzer Regiment 7, Tunisia 1942 to 1943. So that's probably a welcome kit. I imagine based off a of previous, previous Tiger release. Um, yeah, that was it. There's no other Dragon kits in here. All right, well, since Dragon USA sends me this box, I will, I will extend my polling to all of the armor kits in this box, which will include the Bronco Panzerkampfwagen Mark IV 744E A13 and UE Fuel Tank Trailer. Now, probably Darren's already done a review on this or has one in progress because he gets these kits before I do usually. But, uh, so there may already even be a review of this on our website. 
But I will still include this for a cracking the box video if, if somebody wants to see it. Also, the German Horsch FUKW KFZ15 radio car. Um, I wonder if that actually has the crew members in it. I don't see any crew. Um, and actually, that's the Horsa Glider. But yeah, that's the tail section for the Horsa Glider in rear glider wings and rear fuselage tail unit set 135th scale now i have the horse of glider i think i have the whole thing don't i i believe i do but uh that's also one i kind of hold, held back for potential uh cracking the box on so um my stack getting too big there i can't i can't see the, this is the only problem I, i'm like i've got my i have to do this with the phone with my phone running the camera app so i can see i can see myself in the phone you can see you can see the kits in the foreground here and gopros i just love i love how again sorry to hype on this but or sorry to harp on this but technology technology wise this camera will only shoot in widescreen mode now they give you a, an app conversion thing to convert it back down to kind of a normal screen but it's like why i mean i realize that the lens is a widescreen lens but why not digitally just do it inside the camera and have a flippable switch to say, I want to record widescreen. No, I want to record, I mean, I want to record normal, like screens width, whatever, and versus widescreen. But I have to do that later after the fact. So we'll see how this comes out. Uh, the IF5 machine, machine, machine engineer, engineer wagon. The Germans in their long descriptive name things. This is a Riesch kit, uh, 135th scale, includes three figures, so. Get that up there closer, maybe you can see it better. And then we have some aircraft. We have the BV from Bronco. We have the BVP 178 Tank Hunter with uh, Flieger Faust B rocket system. And this continues some, some kits they've done in this in one, 172nd scale. In fact, that says GB 7004. Wouldn't that be their only their four, fourth release in 172nd scale? Maybe. Uh, and then we have a Great Wall Hobby Kit. This one is the RAF Tanker. Um, and this is only their fifth 144th scale kit, it looks like. Victor K2. And it's pink. What was it with the British and the pink? They seem to like the pink. Um, so I think that does it. Unless there's something hiding in here. It's a relatively small smattering of kits from Dragon this time around. Um, oof. And that just leaves a box we, or a, a package we got from Kamad. Now, last time, if you remember, I got a, I got one of these. It was empty. This time, it has stuff in it. But they they really need to learn because their their envelopes are not like you guys need to check your your maybe maybe upgrade to a slightly thicker international mail sending envelope because these things look look this is torn right here already. So it's not they're not they're not coming across seas very well. Now maybe they don't ship a lot overseas, so maybe that's the problem. But these are oh okay, the Euro Modelismo. So Euro Modelismo the Star Wars edition. Lots of Star Wars kits, I assume. Uh, not a mixture actually, it's not just focused on Star Wars, but there's probably a Star Wars featured one in here, I'm guessing. Somewhere. We'll save that for turning the page. Uh, and then a Panzer Aces armor modeling magazine. So uh, this was number fifty. These are always uh, very nice and lots of good pictures, and we will again do a turning the page on that. Uh, so what does that leave me? Oh, well, I got, a, I got an envelope from Capital One. I wonder what they want. Yeah, they want me to take out a credit card. It's either Capital One that I get these things from, or it's, um, see, this is what I think of your thing, Capital One. Um, either Capital One I get them from, or Comcast Business Class Internet, which I already have here. So like they keep because I have a mailing facility at a different location than my office, so they keep mailing me at my regular company address. They're not knowing that I, you know, stop! You're wasting money. Uh, and then the last thing I got is from Amazon. What's Amazon sending me? I wonder. Not a not a model. Uh, I hope. Well, actually, it would be cool if it was a Star Wars model. It's a new keyboard. Yes, because I spilled Sprite on my last natural keyboard and I killed it. I, I've been using these for years. I don't know if any of you guys or gals uh, are familiar with this keyboard, but it, it's been produced by Microsoft for 10 plus years, I think. Uh, not sure when it first, first came out, but basically I'm just used to it. I have one at home. I have one here. 
Actually, I don't have one at home anymore. I, I actually did switch over to a uh, color backlighted keyboard, that, but it's it's similar. I think it has a kind of a split thing. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah, I think so. It, but but I really do like these, so I, I decided just to, and they're not that expensive. They're 20, 30 bucks. I mean, I can spend a lot more on a keyboard. That's for sure than thirty dollars. Um, all right, well that uh, does it. Other than that, I want for those of you who have really stuck around. Uh, I wanted to give you a preview of what's coming up for this week in terms of cracking the box. We've got that Cougar 6x6 uh, JRB that I've been kind of sitting on since December. We're going to do that one. <laughs> We're going to do the uh, also the Hong model uh, Zoo 23 4MMZ, uh, which is a brand new manufacturer, brand new kit. And I'm going to do the Soviet 2S7 self-propelled gun uh, as well because that needs to go out to a reviewer who's been patiently waiting. And I'm going to get that done this week as well. And as well as one of the kits you guys select, the armor kits from uh, Dragon USA. So click down in the poll in the description. It's on YouTube and or, or in the video. I'll put it in the video on the website as well. Um, all right. Well, that I think does it for our first high definition GoPro video. Hopefully this actually comes out and looks better than my webcam. You guys can also give me some feedback and let me know how that came out. Like I won't know. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time or later in the week. We will see you in a few days or a day or so, or maybe even today if I'm really productive uh, with a uh, crack in the box. And uh, check you out next time on Mail Call. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.